It's time for Florida State basketball. This is the Leonard Hamilton Show. Brought to you by SunTrust. Learn how SunTrust can help you live for your sunny day at suntrust.com slash my sunny day. And by Coke Zero. You don't know Zero till you try it. Now your hosts, Gene Deckerhoff and head coach Leonard Hamilton. Hello and welcome to the Leonard Hamilton Show, our very first program of the year, and we've got a lot to talk about today. We're going to talk Florida State basketball, ACC basketball, and a whole lot of highlights. Coach, it's another season. You're 14th, and uh, I know we're ready to go. No doubt about that. Uh, we've gotten off to a good start. Uh, we now into ACC play. Uh, things are, are, are really heating up. Uh, every night you're playing against a great basketball team, it's going to be a rock'em, sock'em year. Coach, from the very first preseason game, I remember going to the Tucker Center and, and watching a young bunch of Florida State basketball. I mean, I had to have the game program. Who is this? Who is this? But an exciting bunch of youngsters melding with some seniors that we're familiar with. Well, there's no doubt that uh, you like to be an older, more mature team, but we have, we're basically dominated by uh, five first-year players. Uh, they're doing a very good job. They're working very hard. We still have ways to go. Uh, a lot of room for improvement, but we like coaching these guys. That they're going to be the backbone of our basketball team as we move through the future of our program. A little new, a little old, and a whole lot of guarded and gold Florida State basketball, and we're ripping and roaring and ready to go in ACC play. Coming up, highlights of Florida State versus non-conference foes. We'll also have highlights of Florida State's game in Greenville against Clemson. And, oh, by the way, preseason number one ranked North Carolina came to the Tucker Center on Monday night. We'll have highlights of that game as well. That's all part of the Leonard Hamilton Show. We invite you to stay with us. Welcome back to the Leonard Hamilton Show, Coach. It's amazing uh, the season tipped off back in uh, early November, and here we are in uh, mid-January. And uh, that non-conference part of the schedule, very important in developing, particularly a young team. There's no doubt that it was very important, particularly this year, because we had so many new players. Uh, but we're excited about the progress they're making. And uh, to, from the very beginning, Florida State's true freshmen are going to play a big role. Now let's take a look at some of the highlights of our non-conference part of the schedule. Speaking of freshmen, Dwayne Bacon, coach, comes in as a parade All-American, highly touted five-star prospect, and watch Dwayne Bacon go to work. We're playing Mississippi State, an SEC team. Well, Mississippi State had to uh, sort of win shit at their place last year, and I think our guys were very, very emotional going into this game, and I thought we did a very good job of, of kind of redeeming ourselves a little bit. Yeah, Dwayne Baker <coughs> shows he can play on both ends of the court, offensive end and defensive end. You saw him reject a shot. Now, against BCU and Atlanta, coach, playing on a neutral court, a team that has all kinds of NCAA uh, credentials, we get a huge three-point exhibition from XRM. Well, there's no doubt that they gave a lot of emphasis uh, in, in, in this game to uh, Beasley and Bacon, but and they left uh, Mays open, and he really took advantage of it. He was the key factor in, in that particular game. Yeah, Xavier Rattan Mays, our leading scorer, returning from last year. Boris Bojanovsky at seven foot three, coach. He knows how to take it to the basket. Well, Jacksonville gave us a very good game. They were one guy was hot on that team, and we had really had to play. But Bo came to play this particular game and really was aggressive. And we need to get more of that from him as we move through the season. Ten points of that ball game, one of four knolls and double figures. Now, Monte Brand, he's played in more basketball games than anybody on the court, coach. Watch Monte go to work. <laughs> Well, Monte is an old man on our basketball team. There's no doubt about that. He's, he's given us the type of leadership we need. Once again, so, somehow or another, we're bringing the best out of a lot of different kinds of teams. Uh, Florida Atlanta had a great game in this particular game. But you see Monte pushing the ball down the court. We'd like to see more of that from him. Yeah, slam dunk going coast to coast. Monte branded just four points in the ballgame, but five big rebounds and helping FSU beat FAU down in Sunrise. Coach, Devin Booker, another one of the seniors that's really finding his touch. Well, Devin has, has sprained wrist all year long. He's really been hampered by it, but he, he seemed to be finding his touch. There's a three-point shot that we really needed during the critical part of the game right as we ended the first half. Yeah, one of three made threes by Devin Booker. Watch it again. I thought it was near half court, but that's about a four. That's about a 35-foot shot, Coach. Nothing well, but the bottom of the net. Well, that was a 10-0 run that was very important uh, in a one-point game against a great good basketball team that Coach, Florida was. Coach, we saw uh, uh, Boris Bojanovsky a moment ago at 7'3". How about this guy right here? 7'4", the tallest to play at Florida State. Well, Chris didn't get a chance to practice very much. He had a stress fracture, and he didn't even 
even play it, practice at all until uh, one of the early games. And so getting him on the floor was important, and uh, he responded very well. Did XRM tell you that was a pass all the way? What a good shot, was it? Now, against Southeastern Louisiana, Coach, how about this effort by Florida State's defense getting the ball back, and how about the transition? Whoops, slam dunk. Well, there's no doubt that that was a big, that was a very important, inspiring part of the game. We got a rebound, an outlet pass, and a, and a slam dunk that's getting out and pushing the ball. We're trying to develop more of a running attitude this year, and I got young guys are enjoying it. And, and uh, Malik Beasley, double figures in every game he has played in his young career. Now, another look at Chris Kamaji at seven foot four. this time at the defensive end, rejecting a Florida Gator shot. Well, here again, Chris has not played very much. He has lived the least amount of experience of anybody on that basketball team. So what, what you see from him is what he's just improvising in the game. Hopefully, as we continue to grow, it become better and better. Again, back in Atlanta. Now, Coach, we talked about Dwayne Baker. We talked about Malik Beasley. How about uh, another freshman driving the basket and finishing? And that's Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann is, is, is a very cerebral basketball player. He comes from a basketball family. Uh, he has a tremendous basketball IQ. He always seems to be in the right place at the right time. His mom's a, a basketball coach. He comes from an athletic family, and uh, you're going to love watching <coughs> Terrence Mann play basketball <coughs> in the Garnet and Gold of Florida State. My favorite play of the whole montage, Coach. It's in Gainesville, Florida, and this one is the big one from Dwayne Bacon. Well, it's a shot we had to have. The clock was running down, and Dwayne just was very cool, calm, and collected. Uh, he collected himself. And, and uh, knocked down a, a, a basket, a two-point field goal that we really needed to win the game. 73-71, <coughs> Florida State beats Florida, and the uh, first trip to Gainesville for Dwayne Bacon and these freshmen. And coach, they really answered the ball. We had a double-digit lead in that ball game, but Florida's tough to beat in their home. No, no doubt about that. They're a good basketball team, and uh, Coach White's first year. You can bet you they, they, they're going to be an outstanding team. Florida State against non-conference foes. You like the highlights? we got plenty more coming up. I can tell you it's going to be an exciting season to come watch Florida State basketball at the Tucker Center and also check us out on the radio and the television as the Knowles are involved in ACC basketball for the rest of the season. Up next, Coach, we're going to go to Greenville. We're going to play in Greenville, South Carolina, not Little John Coliseum. We're going to take on the Clemson Tigers, a team much improved over last year. They've they, they really gotten off to a good start, and, and they will be a team to be reckoned with for all the ACC opponents. I have a feeling that's true of almost every team in the ACC, including <laughs> Florida State. No doubt about that. Up next, highlights Florida State versus Clemson. Stay with us. Welcome back to our show. We're talking Florida State basketball on the Leonard Hamilton Show. You know that. That's why you tuned us in. And, uh, Coach, we're in the ACC play. And, boy, every night I look at the scores, it's incredible how competitive this league is this year. No doubt about that, Gene. It's, it's really gotten off to a fast start. And it's almost like what you say, knuckle sandwiches yeah. uh, by both teams. Everybody's getting after each other. Uh, every team you play in ACC is an outstanding team. Well, when you have five teams ranked in the top 25, you know you've got a pretty solid conference top to bottom. Let's go to the highlights and watch Florida State in action against Clemson. Coach, we sort of dug ourselves into a hole of this ball. No doubt. We, got all, we were extremely tentative. Uh, uh, Clemson came out and played a 2 3 zone, which they never, ever really played. We got off to a slow start. Uh, we dug a hole for ourselves. And, and once we took the lead, it seemed to seem though it took us so, took so much out of us to get that lead, we just couldn't sustain it. And Clemson was energized, played much more uh, aggressive than we were, and uh, we came away with a, a first-game loss. You'd like to see a lot more transition baskets, uh, just like the one we just saw. But we have to get stops, you know, and we got to defend people and get deflections and steals in order to, to be able to get those kind of baskets. We didn't get enough inside touches. Uh, our guys, uh, we're not getting the ball inside nearly as much as we need to. Uh, but Clemson, you got to give them credit. They play, they outplayed us in this game in every way. Again, another transition effort uh, finished by Mal uh, by Terrence Mann. Mann is getting off the bench and giving you some instant offense. Well, in many, in many times during this game, uh, uh, we had three and four freshmen on the floor at the same time. And sometimes, you know, you, you don't like to play that many youngsters, that many new players. But once again, these guys are, are learning and growing. And I think it's going to mean an awful lot to us as we go through the remainder of the season. Season high, 21 points for Devin Booker, senior leadership on the team by Devin. Well, Devin's playing better and better. He seemed to have found his shooting eye. Uh, you know, he's had a sprained wrist, uh, and that, that really affects your, your ability to be accurate. Uh, but he's really coming around, and we expect him to defend the season very strong. He's been one of our most uh, uh, 
uh, solid players all year long. Defense leads to offense. Coach, we often talk about the XRM, Xavier Retamace's offensive ability to score anywhere on the court, but his defense has really improved this year. The, the X is, is, is getting in the stride. I think he's really doing a good job for us. Here he is finding, he's leading the ACC in assists. There he is finding uh, Malik Beasley on the baseline. Malik Beasley, he's got that day. He likes that corner jump shot, doesn't he? Back in action here. Here's Devin Booker again. He had a season high, 21 points with me, a season high and a career high three point made shots. Devin has always been a great shooter for us, but now he's given us great leadership. He's playing the, the off guard, the point guard. He's really doing an outstanding job for us. He made six of nine three point shots, and coach, you'll take that almost every game of the week, won't you? Here's no, Dwayne Bacon working the side. There's no doubt that Dwayne was, was a factor in this game. We just couldn't get over the hump. We were working very hard, we took the ball up strong. We did a lot of positive things. Uh, we got we learned a lot in this particular game of how hard we have to play in order to be successful. Second chance points are tough to come by in ACC games. We had three shots at it and finished. Well, here again, you got to get second chance shots. The second half, you see us getting the ball into Dwayne in the scoring area. He's taking the ball to the basket. Uh, we, we came very, very close. Uh, but but not close enough to, to be successful on the road against a team that played very well. And, and and you see the ability of Dwayne Bacon just to finish a shot. That was a tough shot to make, and he banks it off the window. He, he's got the total package, doesn't he? He's a very good basketball player. He's growing and learning, and he's only a freshman. Now, this is a rare four-point play. Devin Booker, one of his six made three-point shots, plus he gets the free throw. Well, we needed this. I think this tied the game up. Uh, and we thought we had the momentum uh, going in the last five or six minutes of the game, but we just could not get over the hump. XRM, now he rattles home a three-point shot. Coach, we're running out of time, but still it's a, it's a manageable deficit to make up. Well, there's no doubt that we could have, we were in position to win the game. We just couldn't get over the hump. Yeah, another one of Devin's made three-point shots. Coach, all, the road is never kind to teams <laughs> in the ACC, but we give it our all now. What was, was, it like, what was it like playing in Greenville, South Carolina, and not at Little John College? Well, well actually, uh, I liked it. You know what I mean? It's, it's a very nice arena. It's in a great area. Greenville is a beautiful city, uh, but on the court, by, that's 94 by 50, we just could, didn't get the job done. Malik Beasley leads us in scoring with 23 points, most of those in the second half. Devin Booker with 21 points, including another three-point shot from the deep corner. Coach, uh, we make it a close ball game toward the end and just can't finish off the Clemson Tigers, who are tough to beat on their home court, whether it's Little John or Greenville. Well, they're a very good basketball team. They're very well coached. We have to move on, and then, uh, unfortunately, uh, we go right back down the road, and we come home, and we play against a great basketball team in Carolina. You know, it's never easy in the ACC. It, it is amazing, Coach, as we look at the final stats, uh, Florida State uh, dropping that uh, conference opener at Clemson. Why do we start with Clemson every year? Because this is not the fourth <laughs> year out of the last five we've opened at Clemson. It doesn't matter who you play because all the teams are very good basketball teams, and you got to be prepared to go out and, be, and have a hard fought game and be successful. Florida State uh, on the road taking on the Clemson Tigers to begin conference play and uh, guess who's coming to the Tucker Center for our first home game in league play. The preseason ranked number one Tar Heels will have highlights of Florida State versus North Carolina up next. Rebound on the floor picked up by Beasley. Knowles with the numbers three on two. Beasley goes up, lays it up over the rim. Knowles lead. Welcome back to the Leonard Hamilton Show. We're talking Florida State basketball today. And, uh, Coach, <laughs> every time the sky blue comes to Tallahassee, we got a great crowd, a great crowd at the Tucker Center <coughs> on Monday night, the first big Monday of the season, and we host North Carolina. Well, there's no doubt that was a very important game for us. Uh, Carolina really, really has an outstanding basketball team, and we dug a hole for ourselves, but we came back in the game. Uh, we, we got close. Uh, we played them nip and tuck. Uh, for 30 minutes, I thought we played very good basketball. The first 10 minutes, uh, we, went, we went, didn't play with a lot of confidence. But you can't make any mistakes against a great basketball team uh, like North Carolina. After starting uh, the, 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 the two freshmen, Bacon and Beasley, uh, to begin the ball game, you went with a little more experience and to sort of settle down the freshman. Benji Bell comes and gives you some instant well, offense. Benji's playing outstanding basketball. I can't say enough about how he's playing, making good decisions. That's Terrence making another great decision with a high basketball IQ. Benji's been very solid. He's given us a tremendous lift with each game. Now, Dwayne Bacon and Malik Beasley come in. Now, um, is Xavier for time I saw his dad Theron and his mom was here. His brothers were here, and uh, he put on quite a show for the summer. Well, he did a very good job, uh, but I wish we, we needed a couple other guys to play with that same level of intensity. Uh, they did a very good job on the boards. They got a lot of, a lot of uh, easy baskets around them uh, on layups. Uh, they had two players score 30 points, uh, Page and, and, John, and, and Bryce Johnson. Uh, it was a very, very uh, good game for Carolina, 
and we just came up a little short. You know, I, I heard fans after the ball game say that's a shame we lost to the Carolina Tigers. They're a great basketball team. They appreciate right, but they said it was an, a great game to watch for the fan, not for the coach, sir, but for the <laughs> fans to watch. It was up and down the court. It was a high-scoring game. A lot of great basketball play. Well, we're showing that we have some potential. There's no doubt about that. We're getting better. That's XM really being aggressive and, and, and offensively. There's teammates are getting the ball to him. He had another one of those games, and we needed every one of those baskets in order for us to be successful. Yeah, he's shooting uh, an NBA three, Coach. That's not just right at the line. That's uh, NBA kind of three. How about uh, XRM, 35 points in Chapel Hill last year. He scores 30 here, 65 points in two games against the Tar Heels. Well, there's no doubt that he, he, he gets fired up to play against the Chapel Hill. We have to go make sure, though, that we have the entire team playing with that same level of focus. It's a four-point ball game at halftime, and Coach, we're going to score a couple of baskets in a hurry and take the lead briefly against the previous number one ranked team in the country. Well, we have potential. It's just that we have to play consistent for 40 minutes. In this particular game, uh, for 30 minutes, I thought we played good basketball. 10 minutes, I thought we were very inconsistent, and we have to eliminate us from having those types of drops. Xavier Rattan Mays, 8 of 16 from the floor, 7 of 9 from beyond the arc. That's a career game. Here's another one of those 7 3 bombs. My goodness. Well, you like to see your players play with that level of confidence. Yeah, and, and I'll tell you what, he's one confident young man. Now, that's a, that's a freshman driving against the North Carolina Tar Heels in transition. That's a tough play to make, and he, ha he handles it effortlessly and earns the three point opportunity. We are a team that's still trying to find ourselves. We have a tremendous amount of room for improvement. Defensively, we got to get much better. Uh, offensively, we've shown that we're capable of scoring. Uh, there's no doubt about that. But we have to get a be do a better job of keeping people off the boards. Uh, we got to do a better job of, of rebounding and making better decisions. Nearly 12,000 fans stand up and cheer that great effort by Malik Beasley. He goes coast to coast to the layup. Great crowd, as we mentioned, at the Tucker Center. Here's a steal by Devin Booker. He leads, he leads our team in steals. One of the leaders of the conference. There's no doubt that we were playing inspired basketball the last 30 minutes of the game. We just dug that hole for ourselves. But here again, you see a, a tremendous potential. Uh, Benji Bell plays with a tremendous amount of confidence. We're moving the ball, making the extra pass. Uh, this team has potential. Now, we just got to defend and rebound a lot better. Coming from behind, we're taking the three-point shot. Benji Bell makes one. Devin Booker makes one. I see the bench just going crazy over there, Coach. And that one shot by Benji, I thought he stepped on your toe when he launched the thing. So <laughs> he was right on the sideline, wasn't he? Again, Florida State playing from behind. Coach, did you expect this game of uh, 106 to 90, a high score? That's a high-scoring basketball It's a very high-scoring game. I, I think that what we got to do is just continue to keep working. You know, I look back. We look back in this game. The last two games that we've lost, in our conference, uh, we didn't want to start off 0-2. I think we've learned, we've grown up, but we realize, realize that every team and every possession of every game is very important. A little different look by Carolina, 1-3-1 one, one zone defense now late in the ball game when they have the lead, yet we're able to find the open shooter, and there was XRM again. Well, I think what happened in this particular game, they, they, uh, they had a difficult time guarding us, uh, and, and so they went to a 2-3 zone, then they went to a 1-3-1 one, one zone. Uh, but. Coming close doesn't count in the ACC. What we got to do is learn from this game and, and prepare ourselves to go on the road against a very good Miami team. I think we saw what everybody considered to be the number one team in the country on Monday night at the Tucker Center, Coach. Uh, they certainly <laughs> look like the number one team, even though they're ranked number seven. They've stubbed their toe a couple of times on the road, a buzzer beater at Texas, a loss in Iowa when they didn't have Marcus Page playing. But uh, Carolina's the real dealer. There's no doubt about that. They're a very good basketball team. Uh, we've learned a lot. We went over the film. We analyzed it. We did all the statistical analysis of the game. There were parts in the game where I thought we showed a lot of promise. There was parts in the game where we showed we got areas where we need to improve in. But you learn and growing that we got to make sure we finish the rest of the season strong. Did these highlights sort of whet your appetite, huh? <laughs> ACC basketball is here. It's underway. Knowles go on the road to play at Miami and then North Carolina State. We'll talk about the road trip coming up in just a moment. Welcome back to the Leonard Hamilton Show. We're just about out of time, and Coach, before we go, uh, the two-game run, the schedule makers are very unkind to the Knowles. <laughs> Again this year, we open up with the previous number one team, North Carolina, on the road to Clemson, and now we go back on the road for a pair of games Saturday at Miami. Well, six of our first eight games, I believe, are on the road in, in our league, and, but you got to play them on the road sometimes, so it might as well get them out of the way. 
Uh, regardless of where you're playing at home or on the road, it's going to be difficult. We got Miami on the road on Saturday. We go to North Carolina State later on in the week. Uh, we got to be prepared for both games. Yeah, uh, uh, Miami, a team that two years ago won the ACC championship. They won the tournament, won the regular season. And, Coach, I look at their roster. It's almost like the same team we played last year. Angel Rodriguez. <laughs> they got that Sheldon McClellan guy, the transfer. You know, uh, Tanya Jacari. I mean, my, it's the same team we played last year. Coach. They are a very good basketball team, Gene. Uh, they're older, more mature team, kind of similar to what we were when we won the championship. Uh, they are a very good basketball team. That's why they rank so high. Florida State versus Miami. And then on Wednesday up in Raleigh, North Carolina, we take on the North Carolina State. State tar uh, Wolfpack, I should say, and don't let me make that mistake up on the back of the road. They'll get really mad. And uh, our next home game, Coach, before we leave today, next home game will be Sunday week. We play Virginia at the Tucker Center. It doesn't get any easier, no, does it? It doesn't. That's, that's a, it certainly doesn't. That's our show for this week. Hope you enjoy the highlights of Florida State basketball. We'll be back here next time, same time, same station, for more of the Leonard Hamilton Show. Thanks for joining us, and go Knowles. This has been the Leonard Hamilton Show. Brought to you by SunTrust. Learn how SunTrust can help you live for your sunny day at suntrust.com slash mysunnyday. And by Coke Zero. You don't know Zero till you've tried it.